Hey guys, Odin here from OdinSpark.com. I'm going to do a special request. We had a actual Twitter follower, and their name should be listed below right now. You're welcome. And uh, the Twitter follower was telling us that they wanted to know how to add a newsletter into their Blogger account. First thing I like to throw out right off the bat: Blogger is not a um, it's not a robust system. And with that being said, there's extreme limitations to a Blogger account. So what I'm going to be showing you is probably the hardest most difficult way of getting something added into blogger just because of the fact that the application itself is not designed to be highly customizable such as the word push application that we've been doing all of our videos on but because we take requests we're gonna go ahead and do this for her anyways so first thing you're gonna do you're logging into your blogger page as you can see this is Odin spark test no big deal and I'm gonna go over to well you can actually make it as a page but some people are gonna want it as a navigation so you're gonna to go to layout they have a gadget area here and click add gadget From add gadget you're gonna scroll down scroll and boom HTML JavaScript you're going to need that because of the fact that well anything you add is gonna to have to be an HTML JavaScript page so from there you can add the title uh, newsletter and then you can put in the content here now I know what you're wondering what content would go in this window well we're gonna go here to MailChimp right now on MailChimp uh, we have a list so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a name So here it is MailChimp, it's a free application um, and basically it's going to put in your information here so it can build up a list for you. Uh, what you do is go to MailChimp.com, sign up for the account, there's plenty of tutorials online on how to do this. Um, from there you're going to do the create list area and then you're going to just create a list. So here's all the information here, scroll down and then hit save. Once it's saved, you have this one here click view and then from view you're gonna see that there is nothing set up currently all right from here you want to go to the create forms page loads up and we have the form for the test Odin list right good now from this area here you can actually go to let's see we got the sign up form here so what we want to do is share it and then generate HTML code for a small subscriber form. Click on that. When you click on that, it gives you this. Where it basically says subscribe to our mailing list, boom. Or you can click on classic, which is that, or a naked form, um, which you can customize if you feel so. I want to do the super slim one. Click here. All right. Right click, copy. Go back into your blogger page. And then we're going to pull up that blogger window that I had open earlier. Right click, paste. Once it gets pasted, you should be able to hit save. And then from save, you have newsletter. All right. Now, from here, we should be able to go to view blog. And there you go. Subscribe to our mailing list. I put in a email address. Click subscribe, it should open up a new window. From that, it says, here it is. This is the address that I just put in there or whatever for the website, it says the MailChimp, and then return to our website and it should take you back to the website that you set up in the actual configuration page. But that's it. But as I stated before, it's not really the best system out there for blogger there are tons of wordpress plugins that could do the exact same thing for you but if you have a blogger page and you're trying to get it done this is the quick and easiest way of getting it done now just to give you one last little thing here you can actually go back to the website click on your subscribers and see that there are no subscribers yet 
because what happens is the email address it will tell you right here they have to confirm so what happens is once you do it I suggest you run this and send it to a real email address because I sent it to a fake one then when you go over to the subscribers you're gonna see it go from this to actually having your username in there I highly suggest you being a part of your own mailing list only because of the fact you get to see how those emails look when they get sent out anyways guys short quick simple and that's how you do it so thank you for tuning in to this edition of Odin Sparks training videos uh, we hope you try any of our many videos on YouTube or go to odinspark.com and find a whole bevy of information there for free also guys please don't forget to subscribe like this and share this with your friends talk to you later